I don't think anybody's here, but I am. Let's see. Mr. Snowman, I am here too. Boop, 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 boop. I'm just hanging out. Waiting. Hi, can you still see me? Uh, yes, I can still see your little okay. icon. Okay. Well, I can hear you. Because I, I um, moved away to share it. Okay, we're live, just so you know. Yep. I got the notification you went live. Yay! <laughs> oh, Mr. Snowman and I were doing a dance. Do, 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 how many? Do. How many do you have left? Oh my gosh, way too many. Tubs. <laughs> Tubs plus the big ones. You know the big ones. I like your shirt. Oh, I got, I got to show you this. I got this yesterday. Of course, I got water on it, so now it's going to look like I have sloppy boobs. But. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. Put your shirt down. You Put your shirt down. <laughs> you <my baby? laughs> Didn't want to go too high, but it's yeah. got little beads. No, it's I'm pretty. Like it's got beads on it. Yeah. It was like $70 and I got it for 40% off. I never spend that much money on clothes. Right. But I liked it. So I bought it. It's a there little big. I should have got the, I mean, I should have gone for a smaller size, but they didn't have it in this one. And this is 100% cotton. So I figured it might shrink a little bit. Right. When I wash it. <clears throat> did you have a good time at the beach? I did. Oh, I just, I love all the seagulls and I love the beach breeze and the, oh man. Me too. I just love it all. It's just, it, it, I don't know, it just cleanses your soul. You know what I mean? It does. It's just nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they allowed my auction post. It doesn't even say pending, so. Yeah, sometimes you just have to, um, some groups don't allow it because it's self-promoting. Right. Yeah, so you just got to check. And and sometimes it's better to give more value to the post, like to say, hey, I'm going to be selling these today on my channel. Yeah. A lot of people just drop their links. No, I, I, I put a thing. I said I'm going to be. Hey, there's Willow. She's going to love what I got. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> I, bought, I bought a really cool... Um, my husband will pick it up tomorrow. I bought a really cool picture made by, a, I think, a Japanese guy. It's really old. Of owls. It's really cool. Oh, wow. I didn't buy it specifically for her to buy, but I bought it because <laughs> I liked it. But right. I will put it up for auction. So Kimmer's is on her channel. This is the second time she's doing an auction. Right? And so we're working on getting that together. We'll figure out a date and time for you. Plus lots of pop-ups. She likes her auctions. I do like auctions. I know owls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can pull a copy, a, pull a picture of it. Your camera looks really good today. Good. I think it's because you helped me with it. Yeah. Let's see. Do you like my new camera? You have a whole new setup. It's really cool. Thank you. I'm still working on it. And that's the problem is that um I think I have too much hooked up to it, so now I have to get I have to get one more thing. Yeah. Because I have all my ports are taken. So this is 
because faith is, or I mean, Cheryl's there. So this is what it's called. It is a 14 by 12 limited edition Chokin, C-H-O-K-I-N, Owl Artwork by Yoshi Nobuhara. And I don't know. You can probably share your screen. I can. Let me see here. Um, share screen. Hey, Amy. I have to figure out which one I want to share here. Is my Aimster there? Yeah. I think this is the one I want to share. No. Nope. How do I share just the one? Um. So there should be another tab on the top. Um, okay. So you can select um, where share it says screen. share screen. Yeah, it says application window. Yeah, and then you could see the picture, I guess. I don't know if I can see it there, but we'll try. And now oh. go to your other tab with the picture. Don't close that one. It's this. Um, yeah, you're on there. You got it on. Now you that one. Yeah, can you see that? that? Yeah. Well, that's pretty. That's Isn't a painting. That? No, it's called Choken Art. I have no idea what that is. What? <laughs> But it's just kind of cool. Choking. Yeah, C-H-O-K-I-N. Ian, say hello. Hello, Ian. Hello, Kimmers. Amy said hello, too. Hello, Hi, James. And say hello to Willow. Cheryl. Hello, Hi. Willow. <laughs> hey, Cheryl. Oh, Faith, oh. I love you. <laughs> she was going to go lay down. And she came here. <laughs> Hi, Faith. I was going to put a video on my channel, but my computer's down. You know, what happened? Was it? Did it just get too hot? hot no, no, I think it's because I, I was printing the label and then when I was moving all the cords and stuff, it's just rebooting and it's taking a while. I have to, oh. our, our server um, needs to be refreshed. Oh. Yep. So I need to buy the cord so I can have more set up. I'm going to look up Chopin Art. Choking art. What is choking art? It'll be okay. My computer will be fine. Just have to hook it up. Art of choking. What is choking art? Okay, let's see. It's where you choke someone. <laughs> I know. Choking art has a long standing history in the Japanese culture. These it says gilded plates and other objects have captured the interest of many collectors from blah, 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 blah. That doesn't really tell me what it is. So it's almost like a, like a press, like a print press, right, Ian? What? It says a gilded press, a gilded, um, what did it say? Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to, I'll have to type this in and go, what? Is choking art. Choking art. It's See? Japanese. I believe it's like a print press. Well, it says... Like, like a screen press, kind of. It says it's an ancient Japanese art of metal engraving since the 12th century. On top of etching copper, it is gilded with precious 24 karat gold and silver. The engravings were originally decorated, created to decorate the armament of samurai warriors. Hmm. However, I mean, you can tell on the picture that there's metal, that it's engraved or whatever, but I don't know about what the birds are made out of. And it definitely does not look like a plate. No, no, they would use the plate to like almost press on there to make the design. Huh. 
It says copper is engraved and then the picture is gilded with silver and gold. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's cool. Ow. How are we doing? Got anybody here? Just us. I love us. Well, it takes it takes time for people to to find you, you know. Here. Y'all don't have. You guys need to have blue whatevers. So you can right click on their names and hit right, it. Right click on their name and say make moderator. Hold on, that's not how it goes. Hold on. Report block. Um, You'll have to do it from YouTube, I believe. Um, that's where I'm at. Oh, okay. It's not letting me do that. Hmm. Ba -ba -ba. My right click, it just click. It just says back, forward, reload. Okay, let's try the little three dots. Back, forward, reload. Maybe I'm doing that wrong. Nope, report or block. Hmm. Hmm. Are you signed on YouTube as Kimmers? Make sure on the top right-hand corner you're as yourself. Oh, nope, I'm not. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why there's not a lot of people here. Although it's it says no, you're on your channel. You're on your channel. You're just not signed on to YouTube. So I do I sign out and do it again? You you stay here where you are on for for you to go on that other tab. Yes, yeah, sign out on the other tab. Not 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 Streamyard or right. I didn't do it on Streamyard. Right. Okay, and then I sign in under. This one. So, token art is Japanese art of gilded co copper plates. Yes. Okay. My channel. Hey, there I am live now. Okay. My channel. Okay, now let's see if this works. Hold on, I gotta shut myself hey, out here. Okay, does this work? Yay! Okay, now it'll work. Hold on. You all look funny and gray. <laughs> there we go. Willow. It's because I was under Kim Schley, yeah. Now I should, now I'm, now I'm better. Um... See, hot mess needs to be moderator. Um, where's Cha Cha? Oh, you're already one. Willow. Okay, so if you guys refresh, you should be blue. And what's this? What's that? Okay. Are you all blue now, everybody? Should be. And if I go to live chat, because I'm a dork, and I like my video. Are you guys all still with me? Oh, <laughs> Cha-Cha fell out. Sorry, Cha-Cha fell out. Cha-Cha-Cha-Cha-Cha-Cha. Immediately turns blue on our name just above the tagline. Oh, okay, cool. 
I like blue, and I'm not too much of a fan of gray. There she is. She's back. Are you you're back? You're back now. Hello. Hello. Where'd you go? Hello. Can you hear me now? <laughs> she keeps coming in and out. Hi, Ian. <laughs> I better make Ian a. There we go. I was beginning to feel a little invisible. I put that info in about choking up before you even said you were going to look it up. Hold on. Phone call. Maybe. Ah. They just want me to renew my newspaper prescription. Subscription. I know, Willow, you a smarty pants. You and Faith. I have questions about things. I need to just go to you guys for information about art and Native American things and stuff. I, I gave those. I have those two beaded collars. And I sent them to my cousin who does Native American beadwork and stuff. And I told her, I said, I don't care what you do with them. Tear them apart, use the beads, do whatever you want to with them. Here's a gift I thought you might like. <laughs> and she was just ecstatic to get them. So that was nice. I feel so lonely with only one person in here talking. I could just blab all day. Here comes oh, no. There Here you comes Marisha. So what, um, I went to go to YouTube and it kicked me out. So I guess oh. I can't do that from my phone. Well, whoops. Let's see. This one. There we go. I know. I feel so lonely in here all by myself. I know. So what did you do with them? Um, I sent those two collars that I had and some other bead stuff that I had um, to my cousin who does, she makes Native American jewelry and stuff like that. And um, I just put a note in there with it, you know, it says, thought you might like these, tear them apart, fix them, sell them, do whatever you want to with them. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> and that's and she, cool. she was very pleased. She thought that was the neatest thing ever. She goes, you're just so sweet. You just... Out of the blue. <laughs> and you should invite her on one time on her on your channel. I should. I should. I know she's got stuff to sell. Yeah, even if not to sell, just to, you know. Just to chat. And talk about what she does. People like that. Yeah. I will have to uh, reach out to her for that and see if that's something she'd be interested in. Yeah. I um I don't see normal people here. I mean, <laughs> I don't see anybody I know other than you guys. Right. We're just all together. We're just having a party. <laughs> you can cool off with a snowman. <laughs> or you can get roasty with a squirrel. First you with the squirrel. <laughs> yes. I kind of like him though. He's or cute. maybe he's a chipmunk. Maybe he's a chipmunk. I don't know. But he is darn cute. Um well, so you so you belong to an Anna Lee group and you shared it on it? Oh thank you, Faith. I well, I did share it, but um they didn't post it. Oh. I belong to Annalie Dolls by Sell Trade Show. And yeah. I did put it, I did put 
up, but and it did say pending, and then it's not there, so I don't think they allowed it. Yeah. Which is okay. It's okay. But usually, if I go live, doesn't it come out? Um, for people that are subscribed to you, yeah, they may get the notification. Right. But it's Friday, Friday afternoon, so yeah, it's still early your time. People are back. True. Let's see. So sometimes doing pop-ups can be difficult. Yeah, that's okay. Well, and I'm not as well known as you guys. Oh, like yeah, you, yeah. Amy does hers. Well, like Faith you, is doing stuff. When, when you used to come on my channel, when you used to do that earlier show, people look forward to that. Yeah. I'm going to have to do the earlier shows again, I think. Because it was like the Kimmer show. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it wasn't. It wasn't the Kimmer show, but it kind of was. It wasn't the Kimmer show. Now it's the Whatever Kimmer's happened. and Snowman show. Yeah. <laughs> um, Faith sold a couple of her purses. She was ecstatic. She mailed it out today. Oh, my God. I know. I was talking to Faith before you came on, before I was talking to you. Mm -hmm. And I, she was telling me three to one person. That's amazing. Yeah. Oops. Thank you. Thank you, Willow. I went to go share, but it kicked me out of the stream. I lost myself here. That's because I'm on the phone. I lost myself. There, I'm back. Mm. <laughs> yep. Kim, out. Kim shared it. Willow shared it. I Faith shared it. I think the flamingos are on right now doing an auction. I don't know if it's uh, well. That could be a big. Yeah, they could be. That could be a thing. You know, it's. Uh, you gotta find the plushy people. Well, Tiffany is on. No, she's not. But you need to practice no. anyway. So. I know I do. Oh, Paul's on. Hey, you should go on Paul's channel. He does um every day. I forget what time. Maybe it's now. But he invites people on know. to come sell. The Dolly and Polly auction show. And he, well, it used to be um you know, come on, guests can jump on to sell something. Yeah. And I know Faith wants to do some um, some stuff, too. Right. Oh, and there's Patsy Crafty's on. Let's see. I'm going to go back to my... I'm all over here. <laughs> But you know, if we if you come up with a day and a time that you come on, no matter who yeah. you're on, you know, people will eventually know that you're on at that time. And just do whatever yeah. you know, decide to do every Friday at this time and just keep going at this time. Yeah. You know, you gotta find what works best for you and you know, others will come. Yes, I am on streamer. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting about steals and deals. And someone asked me to be on their show. Um, well, you and I are going on with uh, Tiffany. Yeah. I forget when. Um... Is it next Wednesday? I don't know. Well, no, I think because because I'm already doing an auction. I do the auction with Leanne on Wednesday night. Oh, maybe it's, 
Thursday. So I think we changed it to Tuesday. I Something can't remember. Like I can't remember. And see, there's an example. Tiffany goes live around the same time as we and I would. And you just got right. your own time, you know? Yeah. I want you guys to know these taste nasty. What is it? It's like a protein bar. Oh, yeah. It's hard to find good ones. I'm not a big chocolate fan to begin with. Mm. And they're all chocolate. So I had someone ask some questions in the group to me. Um, yeah. I was going to do, um, I was going to do like an interview style, but so one of the question was they, they wanted to do YouTube auctions. So they wanted to know some of the best things to do. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions was, um, how do you, okay, so how do you do the payments either um do you have people email them to you or do you use a form like some people use and i and i'd have to say I, i'm gonna do a video just on q a stuff with me but i'd have yeah. to say that before i started using the form nobody was nobody that i knew of was using a form and for me it was easier to use the form because one, it was faster as far as grabbing right. the link. Two, it, it avoid the whole email thing, you know, in the right. chat. Like, whose email? What's the email? Blah, blah, blah. I understand that people do use the emails and it's easier for them. Chocolate's better than this. <laughs> and, um, but one of my things is if you are going to use more email, chocolate, I don't know. If you're going to use an email, Maybe use yeah. an email, create an email just for your auctions. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because you're sharing your PayPal email in the chats and your videos. And it's just by you creating just another account that you can have mm -hmm. people email you to that is not the same as your pay emails or your correspondence and stuff makes it a little safer. Also makes True. it easier for you to find it. Like I know my mailbox has got like 30,000 emails in it. So when someone mm. emails me, if it's not right on the top, I usually miss it. So my suggestion is if you don't want to do a form, which you can easily do by getting it free by Google Docs, you can create a simple thing that says name and email YouTube and they give you a yeah. link. And what's great about that is it puts it in a spreadsheet for you and you have it. Um, I use Jot Forms, and that's because I have a website I'm building, which then the forms will be actually on my website. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what I use. But if, you, if you're going to do the email route, I would suggest you create an email just for the auction so people can contact you and send their information. The other thing is people just PayPal you at that email that you give, and sometimes that's not your PayPal email address. Right. Doing the forms is awesome. An awesome idea. I'm so glad so many people are starting to use it because it, it helps, you know? Mm -hmm. And I also noticed that I've had a couple people come in the chat where they had bought stuff or they want to register. You know, they, they say that uh, they're going to buy something. Well, if they don't fill out the form, then, you know, right there, they're not legitimate. Um, you, they don't, now they don't have your email until they submit the form, right? Which eliminates the, the hackers and the, the trolls and stuff. Cause they're not going to submit their information on a form. Right. Which I've had like three or four of them do that. Sometimes I miss it, you know, right. when I see someone new, but as registration also goes, Really, if you're going to use PayPal, it should be the address that is in PayPal that you should use. A lot of people don't understand that you can just email the person whatever email they gave you. Right. And then you'll get the information once 
once they pay. So it's not right. needed. And then again, adding another layer of security. But if you want people to register, you know, it's not a bad thing. Just know you're responsible for all that information. Right. And who gets it and stuff like that. So I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? What do you like? I love the form. Yeah. I just want to know. Um, you're welcome, Gary. <laughs> I just hate the color gray, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Gary. Uh, I you know that form. I know that form costs. It's a monthly fee. No, I mean you could get free ones. The reason I got the fee, they got the one that. Okay, so the reason I pay for the form is because I have so many of them on my channel, and I wanted yeah. to be able to do certain features. But they have form like Google Docs and Google Forms is free to use. And you can use Jot Form free up to so many submissions. Okay. Now, so, like, I think it's a thousand submissions. So, I mean, that would take a while to get to. I think I have seven thousand submissions, but I also have had twenty-five plus people on my channel selling. Can you believe that? That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people, me included. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This little guy wants a new home. He's only fifteen dollars. Look at that belly. You know he got a cute little belly. He got a that little. Was one, that was one of the questions someone had asked. So I think really it comes down to what works for you. Right. I I really do love that form. Um, and, another suggestion is if you are monetized and you do a form based situation. Mm -hmm. Which Ed, thank goodness, he pointed this out. He said he likes the form. There was a couple things he said is like he would like to add multiple people, you know, so he can add them up. Right. So he doesn't have to go in every time, which I said, okay, I can, I can fix that. The other was that every time he came back, he would have to listen to a commercial. And oh, no. that would, that would be your bounce rate. You know, people coming back after they fill out the form. So what I do is I keep the commercials on for the first like five minutes of the video. Then I right. go in and I turn it off so that during the auction, they're not getting bombarded with they have to watch a commercial before they come in the video. And it saves them time, which I would have never thought about until Ed had told me about it. I didn't, I didn't know you could turn those commercials off. Yeah. So basically, um, when you get monetized, there's... The, the settings, which you probably don't see now, but I could share on my screen. So there's different kinds of ads that can be offered on your channel. So there's the ones yeah. before you start where you can't skip, the ones you start and you can skip during your video, right. at the end of the video, there's little pop-ups that come at the bottom. And basically, yeah. you should turn them all on normally because YouTube's not going to bombard a person with... YouTube will not bombard a person with ads if they've seen so many. So you want every opportunity yeah. to get. So if someone has had to watch, I don't know, 50 videos before coming on your channel, that'll eventually stop. So you want to get. Yeah. So it's all a strategy thing. Yeah. So if you are monetized, I would suggest you keep it on for the first few minutes when people start entering. So you get something and then turn it off until it's over that way the people coming back in and out don't have to watch it every time because some people right. won't watch That's... it just because the commercial's on right well they need to everybody needs to turn those commercials off because i hate them yeah especially if i'm sitting watching something on tv excuse me um if i'm watching youtube on tv and then I'm watching the videos and stuff, and it's like, another commercial. Well, and you know, can't. I, rem I remember when they talked about that, when they said, um, are they going to, would you pay not to watch commercials? And you would. Like the YouTube, um, you know, membership package, you know, where you can watch movies and stuff. The YouTube. Yes. TV. Yes. So if you get that package, you don't see commercials on people's right. channels. But you still, as a creator, you still get paid because those payouts to you are yeah. higher. 
the so if someone watches your channel and they have YouTube um, TV or whatever, you you get a higher payment than if uh -huh. it was just commercial ads. Yeah, and that's what um, Faith said. That's how they get paid. Mm -hmm. well, I don't want them to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Only kidding. Only kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Wish there was another place to put that. Put what? My invite. Where else could I advertise? Well, you can tweet it. Pinterest. I don't. I don't tweet. We need to get your social media account set up because I understand you don't want your family to follow you, you know, or friends, but you can create an account that is just for social media. Okay. Yeah. You know, I don't want my, yeah. I just. They'll don't follow want, you. People yeah. are asking for it. That's how they connect with you. And, and being on, you know, the stuff that you have when you share pictures and stuff would be great for like Instagram and for me, I do a lot of do-it-yourself videos. For, so Pinterest is my number one place to post right. and where I get a lot of views. So like on my Pinterest account, I think I get thirty or 40,000 views a month just on Pinterest. Yeah. Which is pretty good. I'm wondering if I can... I'm wondering if I can paste this... And it's also to good hear. if to set up a time like a week ahead and start promoting yourself a week ahead. Yeah. Yeah. The pop-ups are good once you have a following and when you get started. Yeah. <laughs> Faith tweeted it. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> Faith is a good tweeter. I'm not a tweeter. You know, Faith, I don't know. Uh, Faith has a huge following. I noticed the other night when I went on my TikTok, Faith, I was amazed how many people are followers and stuff on yeah. Faith's TikTok channel. I was like, what the heck is this? That was pretty cool. How do I? Hmm. Trying to figure out if I can do this on. Faith, Faith is a good tweeter. She had a video on her channel about Pokemon. Oh my gosh. And when we used to do videos together back in the day, she would get tweets all the time about her videos. <laughs> yeah. Well, Faith. Trying, I was trying to put it on uh, Facebook Marketplace, but I can't put it there, I guess. Well, it doesn't matter, Faith, because you got a lot on there. You should um, do some of your stuff on there. People like to connect with people on these different platforms. And even uh -huh. if even if you don't use it, you should at least create your name and on there fix your bio so people know how to find you. So let's say you don't have a TikTok account, but you have like a YouTube channel. So you should create a Kimmer's mm -hmm. TikTok channel. And in your profile, you'll say, watch my videos on YouTube. So that when people who do use TikTok try to find you, they see that you have an account. They'll start following, even if you have no content. But at least your description and your bio is up to date. So people know how to find you. She she's tweeted it out and then she says I just uninstalled the app. It's For mostly TikTok. scammers that follow you. Well, you have a lot of scammers then following you, but and she's following a lot. But she has her artwork and stuff on there. Yeah. And you could you know. But for you, you definitely need to do you definitely need to do Instagram. And you definitely need to do your YouTube. So we should set up. We should change. You need to set up a time with me, Kimmers. I know. Ugh. Soon. Because. Um, I can't do tomorrow, but I can do Sunday. Afternoon. Okay. After churchy. I could do after churchy. All right. And I know there's a couple. Like Kim, we need to set up too. 
I was going to start doing, um, for the next 30 days, how to set up your YouTube channel and the best ways to share and promote yourself and also yeah. do Q&A on, like, shipping and stuff. So. Thank my. I look fuzzy. Yeah, I think it's um, it might be your. Do I like better? Do I like better? (laughs) 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 Trying to see my gold tooth. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you know how much that's worth now. (laughs) I know. So I was talking last night, Tamara, or I don't know, Wednesday night, Tamara and Ed were talking about gold and silver. Ed was saying, though, um, save up the gold, like the price should be high, highest in October. But right now, I think it is at 2000 an ounce. Oh. That's what we're saying. Yeah, it's uh, getting there. Yeah, and, I'm and, selling my gold. And Tamara is saving up her silver. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Because I, I will probably end up taking all mine to the scrap guy. Yeah. And Cause. Ed will buy it from you. You know, if you put it together. You know, if and you contact them separately. than like doing an auction. I know. I love Ed, but he lowballs all the time. Well, if you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna sell it, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Well, he's just... trying to make a buck too. Oh no, and I understand that. But you know, if I'm offering something for fifty dollars, please don't try to get it for thirty. You know, yeah. I would like to get at least what I pay. Yeah. Someone using your internet, huh? And that's because you're on Wi-Fi, too. Look, I have a beauty mark right there. Yeah, right there. (laughs) And I got slab. (laughs) What more do you want? (laughs) So what's your total weight loss so far? I am hovering at just about 60 pounds. All right. That's good. I think I'm about 58. And you- I'm, I'm waiting until I hit 61 because that's my age. Uh-huh. So then I'm going to put like happy birthday weight loss. <laughs> can I can I give you advice? Yeah. Okay. So the first year is the most that you're going to lose the maximum amount, right? Right. As soon as you can, even if it's just to the mailbox, start exercising. Yes. I'm uh, waiting for my YMCA to open up and then I'm going to get a gym membership or a membership Mm -hmm. because I want to, um, I love to swim. Right. And because of where I work um, and I get off at two in the afternoon, then I can just go there. And then, and I did this a few years ago. Um, I went and I would, our YMCA has like two pools. Mm-hmm. They'll have the lap pool and then they have what they call like the kids pool, which right. is heated. And I would go and I would just walk back and forth for like a half hour. And then I would go swim for a half hour. And then I would spend an hour in the the hot tub. Right. And... Because that just helped the muscles feel so much better. Right. Well, like, do do also small things around your house. Like, make it a task that you're going to walk to the end of your driveway and back every day. Just those simple little things. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah. then you're going to walk to your driveway into the first tree. And then back. Then the second tree. Right. You know, well, let's see. and then just keep going. Yeah. Until, you know, because... I didn't take that that serious because if I would have exercised, I would have lost a lot more in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Because after cool. that year, it's all of a sudden it turns off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you'll be like, I've Shit. been doing, um, I've been walking more, not a whole lot more, but a little more. Um, when we went to the beach, I actually 
the tide was way out. And so we walked almost to where the tide was mm -hmm. from our car. I wouldn't say, you know, not a mile or anything like that. Right. I'd say at least, at least four good city blocks. Right. And that's and tough then, on that sand. Yeah. And so I walked out and then back and then we went to the grocery store and I walked in the grocery store and then I went to two little gift shops that weren't real little, but, and I walked all around those, right. you know, which is something that I haven't done in a long time. So, yeah. you know, it's walking. just those little baby steps. Yeah. Like, like I used to say, okay, I'm going to walk out to the mailbox. Now I'm going to walk out to the driveway and then every day. And then eventually it's like, let me just go around the corner. Yeah. And just adding another, and it seems small, but you used to not be able to do that before. Uh huh. Yeah. I, see I was I was running before I knew it. Yeah. Ian didn't believe me, but my dog. I would take my dog with me. We'd go out like at four o'clock in the morning. I used uh -huh. to wake up early, and we'd go, and I'd walk down the street and then back, and then we'd do short runs like we'd run real fast and then stop and start walking run this right, up. Right. next thing i know i was walking down the lake we were running up and down steps and i was jogging back and forth to the house every morning it was amazing because i never yeah. was able to do that before yeah i yeah <laughs> let's see I'm asking April and Miranda if they would share my link as well. Oh, that's cool. I need to get back into exercising. I can't wait until um, until the Y opens. I mean, we have little gyms out here, but my thing is I don't want to go to a gym with a bunch of buff men <laughs> and women. And here I am, 61, flabby. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just can't, you know. Maybe, I understand. It's uncomfortable. Maybe I'll get some more confidence and stuff. But it's just like, you know, it's like being the ugly duckling with all these swans. But... I know, I know what you mean, because I was there too. But when you start yeah. going, and pick a time that you know, because it's not all like that. You think it is. You go in there, and the first time is scary. Just get on the treadmill and then leave. But then again, you got to pay yeah. the fees and stuff, and it is expensive. But well, yeah, it's like seventy something a month. Well, it maybe for the why it's it was you know, quite a few years ago, it may be like a hundred dollars a month or something like that now, but I, I just, I, I need to do something. I had a bicycle and I would go right around the neighborhood. Well, I went and checked out a bicycle and let me tell you, I, cause I have a, a leg that has some nerve damage to it. I couldn't, pardon me, even though it was low, in the center, I couldn't mm -hmm. lift my leg over mm. good enough. Right. And that's, some people wouldn't understand, oh, we'll just lift your leg, you know, but when you have nerve damage in your leg, it's kind of hard to do that. Right. And so, or I would have come home with it that day. So what I really want is, um, I want a bicycle. But I need to build up the strength in my legs uh -huh. and work on getting a little better control of my right leg so that I can do things like that. You should get one of those peddler things Faith has. She was go, go, well, go. <laughs> well, they, um, I talked to my doctor about physical therapy because uh -huh. they have like one you sit on, you know, it's like a chair and then it's got the right. Thing. So, but I just have to contact my insurance company and see which physical therapy place they do because the, my doctor is 
like 40 minutes away. Mm -hmm. And so I just need to make sure that I can do maybe something locally. We have quite a few physical therapy places here. So I'm sure somebody takes my insurance here, but I'm just not sure who. So I have to find out. There's creative Lori. Hi. Hi, Hi Lori. Hi, Lori. <laughs> I'm trying to sell some little items. Aren't they cute? I'm always up for an auction, you know. Yeah, and, one... and you know, Kimmers, you need to get out there and join other channels when they go, you know, they invite people on, and you should invite I know. people on with you. I did. She's talking to me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Larry. <laughs> I I need to do this more often, just on my own. Even if I just pop on in the middle of the afternoon and say, "How you doing? What you up to?" Blah, blah, blah. Right, the Kimmer Show. The <laughs> Today it's the Kimmers and friends. What you know? What I need from you? I need to know. Okay. What colors do you like? Me? Yeah. Like, as far as, like, what colors would represent you? Let's say you were a company. Okay. Kimmer's, the Kimmer Show, we're going to call it. What like what it. colors represent you? And I'm, I'm trying to do some branding with you. I like bright, springy, vintage colors. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, um, well, I like, I don't know. I guess bright really isn't vintagey, but. No, there's bright vintagey. Um, like the pinks and the roses and the. Pastels? Yeah. More like the pastels, I guess you could say. But I also like you know, warm colors too, like, um, the autumn colors, the greens and the oranges and. And know. then like, what themes do you like? Are you a, like a farmhouse, theme, uh, um, minimalist theme, you know, like, um, I'm eclectic. <laughs> I cannot this Okay, so what shapes do you like? Or what patterns do you like? Floral patterns? Like, give me a designer you like. Or something. like. I love Isaac Mizrahi. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's, not, he's none of those things. <laughs> I, remember, I remember asking for that perfume. Because my dad used to buy his perfume for Christmas every year. And uh -huh. he was like... You, that perfume you want? I was like, yeah, he goes, that is the most expensive <laughs> perfume ever. I was like, it smells so good. <laughs> um, who's a designer I like? You know, I like, I love stained glass. Oh my God. Okay. Does that work? I'm just trying to think of like. You my little stained glass lamp over there? Yeah. On top hey, what's of my your vintage? favorite color? Like a color that is like your your favorite color. That says Kimmer's. That this is Kimmer's color. Oh my gosh! Really. <laughs> Okay, what about a photograph? Do you, have you expected it to be perfect? I'm expecting at least <laughs> something. <laughs> what about a photograph of what? Uh, um, $15 for the snowman, Lori. <laughs> She's got a whole bunch, Lori. I do have tons. So I'm selling them cheap because normally the poor guy's $32.50. So that's like half price, less than half price. <laughs> Um, I don't know. 
it, the reason I'm asking is because I want to create a brand for you. So basically anything you create, it's going to be, um, like your, your, your title for your channel, like your header, you know, and anything you do on social media, if I pick the colors for you, anything you create and you use those same colors is always going to put you as a brand yeah. and people are going to recognize you. Okay. So, so I'm thinking of colors. Hold on. Let me, let me I'm also something. thinking of like symbols. <laughs> Peace, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any of that stuff, you know? Um, I'm trying to grab something. Here. Yeah, Lori, let them know. She's got a whole bunch of them. Um, I've had oh, her take Lori, pictures. She even has the big ones, too. Oh, yeah. I do. Let's see if I can. You see this picture? Mm hmm. See how vintage it is? Yeah. And it's, it's like a photograph. That's been that they colored. Okay. Way back in the day, this is my grandpa when he was seventeen years old. Okay. He was a, he was a guide up at Mount Rainier, so I like things like that. Okay, so like the colorized um, vintage stuff. Right. Okay, which has those pastels colors. Right. In fact, I'm picking up a picture that's in that picture lot that I got. Mm -hmm. that I just, I love. And that might be something to use. So when I get it tomorrow, I'll take a picture of it and let you know. Yeah, or send me a link to it. Well, it's a, yeah, I'll send you a copy of the picture because I can go on and get it. I was going to show Lori so she knew how much stuff I have. <clears throat> I'll have to show her a big one or two. Yeah. So do you like stars, hearts? Do I like what? Do you like stars, hearts? Well, when I sign my name, I put a little heart where the eye for the dot on the eye. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. That's a good branding thing. Just a little. Just a little little heart. Look, Laura, look what I have. Holy I smokes. Santa. Santa's bigger than life. Well, he's like 30 inches tall. Look at him. That's amazing. That would so go on eBay for me. Well, I think that might be what... I think that might be what I have to do, is put him on eBay. Unless you give me a price. That you know... Oh, I like them all. Oh, I was going to, I know you do. Um, oh, I see what you got. Okay. You got the, the hand, the thing. I got it. Well, why is yours See so the big. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. They go for a lot of money. These originally sold for, let's see. Santa originally sold for. I think it was 100. Santa was 155 originally. Yeah, but see, and the collectors will pay more for them, especially the years. Yeah, and the deer um, were 110 each, and I have two deer, and I have this Santa, and another Santa, and a Mrs. Santa, and a bunny. They're all the big. Oh yes. And the bunny. Can't forget the bunny. That was my first big win. <laughs> and I was going to sell these. There's the bunny. It's a big yeah. bunny. Big bunny. He yeah. comes up with. <laughs> and, and honestly, right now, if you look at the comps on eBay, they're all going to be low. But come in like two weeks. That, yeah. that it's all going to spike up. And the people that are doing it low 
The only reason they post it low is because when they went to go research, you know, YouTube only does 90 days. Right. So they're seeing, oh, someone just sold it for this, so it's not selling for much. But they don't go back in history to find out. Right. And and I'm not out to gouge. No, you don't need to gouge, but. You know, and I know that there's going to be. get what it's worth. Yeah. I mean, I just sold my ALF doll today for 60 bucks, and it went to Australia. So the person paid $90 for ALF. That's with shipping. Wow. Well, I, Lori, I was thinking about putting them on eBay. I, just, I don't seem to have good luck. Well, the one thing with eBay, eBay is you have to have... I can help you with your listings. Yeah. I can help you with the listings. Because you do need to be, just like on YouTube, keyword rich. And you right. have to have good photos and good information. And get your measurements down. Right. Maybe that's what we'll do on Wednesday, on Sunday. I'll open up a okay. chat because I know Faith wants to do hers. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm up in her with her Facebook because she has her book coming out. So she wants help promoting that. So right. I'm doing like her banner and stuff for that. And I finally understand what she needs for it. And to also right. do yours, get your channel set up. And I need to get Kim going. Also, but I think definitely it should be called the Kimmer Show. The <laughs> Kimmer Show. I really do. I think that's catchy. And I, I already envision. I, so if you can take on a piece of paper with a dark marker or something and write your name, like sign it, Kimmer's, with the heart on it for me and send me a picture of it. Okay. Okay. Because the camera show, Kimmer Kimmer the camera show just sounds really good, and you can yeah, you can make that on Instagram and everything. The camera show. Because then you're saying, you know, you sell stuff, blah blah blah, and you also have a show that you're talking to people. Right. Because you have a great personality, and it is a show <laughs> when it comes to you. Well, <laughs> that's fine. See how I put the little I or the little heart? Yeah. So I'll have to do it. I know so, it's totally worth it, Lori. I just, I hate charging so much for people to ship stuff. You know, I know if they want it, they need to pay for it. They do, and they don't mind. And what you do is just go into pirate ship, put it in a box or bag or whatever you're going to do, like you're going to ship it out. Right. And, it, it. and pick my zip code because I'm the furthest away. And that's how much you charge for it. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know how much these little guys would ship for. You know, the only bad thing about the tall ones is that because of their height, I ship big things all the time. Like, that person paid $25 to go to Australia. Yeah. It only cost me 16 through pirate ship. Um, oh, yeah, I love using pirate ship. And and all I need to do is go to one of the coffee shops or something that buys the, the coffee mugs, mm -hmm. the coffee cups, because those boxes are perfect right. to ship. So that's not bad. For the big things, anyway. Yeah. And they're plush, so just make sure the hard pieces are protected, you know? Just get a big bag. Oh, right. right. Yeah. Uh-oh. You know, I Santa's could... Trying to we could, set my up, water we could set up an auction to go later tonight on. I don't think, is anyone on live tonight? I don't know. We we could. Um, I'm not sure when we'll be home. Or you can do, we could just do it whenever. I'll start promoting Monday. 
Well, we could go on later this evening, so I don't have a problem with that. I just know that we're going over. I told Amanda that this would be two hours, so um, at three I have to get off, and then I have to go stick the potatoes in the oven and, you know, do the onions and stuff like that that um, for dinner, and then we have to go over there. Excuse me. And then tomorrow is my little buddy's drive-by birthday party. And so I'll be busy tomorrow. Because hmm. it's at, I want to say it's at one. And tomorrow morning we're going and picking stuff up from the auction place and then coming home and then doing the birthday thing. And so, I mean, even tomorrow night would probably be okay. Yeah. I was going to have all my grandbabies this weekend, but one of my little grandbabies got sick. And one of them that lives in Tacoma got sick. And then I got a picture of her today. I'll show you this. It's funny. She's so cute to begin with. She is. Let's see. I don't want to show that. Whoops. This is my little briar. <laughs> but she just lost her tooth this morning. So that's what she got that little toothless grin there. But right. she was she was sick yesterday, so they didn't get to come out. And Tuesday I have a Zoom meeting from nine to noon and then at noon i have a gal coming over to look at an embroidery machine i have for sale so, mm -hmm. so that's that'll be a couple hundred bucks in my pocket which will be nice right pretty sure she's gonna get it so I just need to show her how to use it so how do you feel about the camera show Kim, Kimmer's comedy hour. Kimmer show. I don't know. Or just Kimmer's. I mean, that's how everybody knows me as Kimmer's. Well, they're going to still know you as Kimmer's. Yeah. That's why it would still have your name in it. Because Kimmer's is who you are. The channel is the show. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. So send, send me, use your phone and send me a picture of your signature. I will. And I then, have to make it really nice. Well, no, you don't have to. I could do that. What do you mean? I don't have to. Because I'm not going to use that exact one. I'm just using it as so I can find the right font for it. Um. I like cutesy tootsy font. Right. Because that's how I roll. And what will happen is I'll I'll set it up so like anytime you want to do a graphic, as long as you use the colors that I give you and the fonts, it'll always look like Kimmer's. So when people see a graphic or something from you on your channel, they'll recognize it as you. Along with yeah, your, along with your name. Excuse me. Okay. You'll see what I'm talking about. I will. You're good. So when I you trust think, you. What do you. When you think about my channel, what do you think about, like, colors? Um, I like your colors. My channel doesn't really have a branding on it. I need to. How come this don't like, um, do it? I did this with, um, a good example is I did it with Faith. 
So we went through and yeah. we picked her favorite colors. We picked her pictures. And so you'll notice like on her images, like her thumbnails and stuff, she uses the same purple color. And the and it could right. be a different, it looks different. Like her thumbnails look different, each one, but because she uses the same colors, you can tell it's her. Yeah. Let's see. Where do you want me to send this to? Messenger is fine. See if this works. Now, it may kick me out if I leave, so I can't. Well, don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> the heck oh i'm like why the heck is my phone up there can they have it in my hand what a doof i'm such a dork sometimes <laughs> we should just call it the dork show oh no uh, hold on hold on a second oh, it's cold in here Oh my goodness, it's cold? Yeah, because we have the air conditioning on. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to show you something. Hopefully okay. Well, since there's nobody here, I can share that screen with you, too, so you can see what I'm talking about. I need a sweatshirt because I'm cold. <laughs> You're funny. You are funny. Oh my gosh! So last, I bought I bought some makeup from CVS, right? Yeah. And I so when I got home, I realized I picked up the wrong color. Oh geez. So I, went, I went back there, and of course, I can't find my receipt. And all I wanted to do was exchange the color. Right. That's all I wanted to do. Oh my god! You think I was gonna? I asked a million dollars. Because I well, didn't have my receipt. I said, all I'm doing is exchanging the color. It's not been opened. The seal's not been opened. I was here last night. Last right. night, 24 hours. Here's my ID card. My Now, I don't have my driver's license because I lost it. Oh, jeez. Right when COVID happened. Oh, The lockdown. So, I can't send it. I can't get it. My appointment's not till the 25th of August. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I can't do anything because I don't have my driver's license and I've searched everywhere. I searched everywhere for this license. It's ridiculous. Can you see this screen? Yeah. So you see this picture here? Yeah. That's what I would like to use at the top of my thumbnail. You know what I mean? My thing. Let me see. Tumors. Hold on. My computer's okay. back up. So let me see. I have so many chat box open. Oh my God. <laughs> And a lot of people messaging me stuff that's not even mine. Okay. Let me get a stream yard here. Oh, 
<sighs> I'll be there in a second. That's fine. I'm going to get some oysters, too, and open them with pearls. Mm -hmm. Like, sell an oyster, and I'll open it right there for you, and you get a pearl. Oh, that's cool. I thought that might be kind of cool, too. Because I love doing that. That's fun. A lot of people do that. Yeah, they do. I thought it might be something just fun to try, you know. Yeah. Oh, good. My own. Hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> okay, I'm backstage now. Okay. There she is. You look so pretty. Thank you. Let me see what you're sharing again. Okay, right here. So this picture. Oh, it's not up. Your name's not up. It's right there. You have to share screen. I did. It says, okay, let me stop. And let me go back here. And do it again. Maybe it's because you weren't in. So, and then this one. Now, can you see it? Oh yeah. So this one, the bottom one there with the trees and the stuff, that's mm -hmm. all been colorized. I'd like to use that on my page. You know, as my. You know who it's by or anything? Um, no, not right offhand. I don't. Send me, send me, see that URL on the top. Yeah. Um, send, and copy that and send it to me, Messenger. Okay, I'm not sure if you'll be, because I'm signed in in my account. So I don't know if you'll be able to get there or not. But it should still be on the site, right? Should. I dinged you. And then look, I got this as well. It's like the cultured pearl. It's like shows how, what the age progression of the per the, the thing is. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that cool? And then it even comes with some pearls, which I thought was twice as cool. That's really cool. Okay, I got to the link. 
Okay. Wow, that's really nice. I just love that picture. I think it's the neatest. This and the pearls is why I got it, plus the owls. I could care less about the magazine thingy, but... Can you see well, all of them on there? Yeah. Huh? It took me right to it. Oh, good. That's really nice. That's the place near you that you pick it up, right? Right. This is the place I bought all my Annalie dolls from. <laughs> and now I'm really regretting I bought them. <laughs> oh, I just got my money back, but I know I just need to get them listed. You know. I'm gonna. I really take like the culture pearl thing. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. I thought that was just the coolest. Because last summer, that's what I did with my grandkids. I ordered a whole lot of oysters, and we sat at the table, and I op I showed them how to open them, and gave mm -hmm. them like butter knives because the shells are pretty thin on some right. of them. And so we sat at the table and we opened oysters and I bought a whole bunch of little necklace chains and charms that they could put their oyster, their uh, pearl into. So it was really fun. I don't think it has... Yeah, it's just a uh, hand tinted lake print, which is four and a half by seven. Yeah, I bet that there's some sign on there. You can tell there's a little damage to it, but yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, it's cool. And I don't care about the damage, I just like it. Yeah. That'd be something cool I want on my wall. So <laughs> then the. Other one with the fishing guy, apparently that's on silk. I'm looking to see what they're selling over there in your area. Oh, they have a new, I think they have a new auction started. Hold on. Um, let's see if I go home. You should just register with them. Yeah. Well, I need my driver's license for a lot of it. No, you don't. For me, I do. And when yeah. I register, it asks for it. No, it doesn't. They just want your I'll name, your, your address, where you live, and a credit Maybe card. Maybe it was... Hmm. they only have the they have three storage auctions up for bid I told my husband I said I really want to do one I just want to do one mm. but he says nope we don't have a place to store all that crap <laughs> I'm like yeah. okay fine but it's only 275 so you know on one of them the others I think are like 300 a piece and then right. they have um and they only have one auction up right. Um, That's what I'm looking at now. Yeah, going right now. They have a lot of gold and stuff, but damn. I mean, this 14 karat gold necklace is already at $375. 
Right. And that's because of the price of gold going up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They have some cool stuff. I can't even remember what I'm bidding on on here. Let's see. On my favorites. Oh, I'm bidding on some packaging tape, some natural gloves, some, <laughs> <laughs> some coin slab sleeve, protected sleeves. Um, I am keeping my eye on a amethyst and sapphire necklace and some old coins and an old Viewmaster and some bubble wrap. How's that sound? Bubble wrap sounds good. Yeah, three rolls of bubble wrap, huge rolls of bubble wrap. There's um, are you looking at where they have the cream, sugar, and teapots all sterling silver? Um, no. Hold on. There's a 92 piece Rogers silver. Oh, it's silver plated. Is it? He said it I just did a search for silver and it came up. Oh, let me. Let me let's see. I'm going to take us off alive so I'm not wasting. Oh, yeah, that's right. So let's go. Let's say good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Ta ta. See you later. <laughs>